I'm Chauncey McCormick. We're at Grandma Millie's Bakery in Johnstown, New York at the Fulton County Airport. Grandma Millie was my grandmother. She raised my sister and I when we were young. My parents divorced and we were very blessed to be raised by my grandmother the old-fashioned way. And when she passed away, I actually was six months pregnant with Jason at the time. She was my everything. So in her honor, I named the bakery after her. We found ourselves going to markets and, and doing other events to remind people that we're here, but getting people here was, was always difficult. Uh, so sales were declining. A lot of six dollar days. Um, a good day for us, honestly, is if we open the register and there's a 20 in there. You know what, that's, that's a halfway decent day. I don't want to say it like this, but I'm going to. It was depressing. We would literally sit and wait for customers. We'd make all these beautiful items to put in the case, all these gorgeous cookies and cupcakes and cakes, um, and nobody would come in, so you'd end up having to waste it. It broke my heart every single day to see my kids work so hard and not have anybody come in. Hi. Hello. How are you? Excellent. Great. I'm Buddy. I'm Ellen. Great to meet you. How's everything going? Um, okay. Slow. Some of the problems that, in my mind, that I thought that he needed to help us fix were one, were first and foremost the problems intermingled in the family. They weren't proving to me responsible enough to take on that much more. You think we don't deserve a higher percentage. You need to have a little bit more discipline and treat me with respect. You don't give us respect. There was a lot of tension. Um, there was a lot of fighting. Um, in the bakery, we could not stand each other. The family was pretty torn. A lot of arguing, a lot of comments made to each other that, you know, it was wrong for a child to say to their mother or mother say to their child. I was hoping that it would fix the family dynamic by having Buddy come out and help us. You're saying one thing, you three are saying another. You have to compromise, right? Okay. Biggest advice Buddy gave me, what had nothing to do with baking. You know, he's watching his mom deteriorate from ALS. My father has MS. And he looks right at me and said, you know what you need to worry about? Your family. Nothing else matters. All you need is your family. And I've not forgotten that because, you know, he's such a family man that he made me realize that if you don't have your family, nothing else matters. Money means nothing. Happiness, happiness means nothing without your family. You know, when Buddy decided that my mom and I were gonna make a pie, I couldn't think of the last time her and I made anything together. That was really sad for me because yeah, it's your mom. And it actually was one of the most highlights for me of the entire, you know, experience is just standing there with my mom and just baking a pie. The moment that made it all worth it is when the pie came out of the oven and Jason said it smells just like when I was growing up. Buddy helped me realize that, you know what, if you're mad at your mom, don't yell at her. Sit down and say, hey, you know what, we, we, gotta, we gotta talk and work out things differently because tomorrow's never promised. Jason and I are getting along great now. We're sitting down, we're planning things together. We can talk, we can bake together. We're all getting along really well. There's a little tension once in a while, but honestly, it's so much easier now and happier now. We're all thrilled to come to work. The cupcakes are selling like crazy. All the cutout cookies, Danish cannolis, pie. You know, he, he helped us with Grandma Millie's pie. So pretty much anything we put in the baker case just sells. A lot of people have been asking me, how's Buddy, you know, what's he like? And I have to I have to tell them, honestly, he's the sweetest man I've ever met. He's so sincere and kind, and he has a huge heart for families. Thank God for Buddy, he's, he's our wheel. <laughs> he's our new wheel, and, and uh, it's not gonna be the same anymore. 